a group of highly established alumni got together to visit their old university professor. The conversation among them soon turned into complaints about their stressful work and life. The professor went to his kitchen and returned with a large pot of coffee and an assortment of cups, including porcelain, plastic, glass, crystal, some plain looking, some expensive, and some exquisite. The professor told them to help themselves to the coffee. After all the students had a cup of coffee in their hands, the professor said, did you notice all the nice looking cups are taken and only the plain inexpensive ones are left behind? While it is normal for everyone to want the best for themselves, but that is the source of problems and stress in your life. The cup itself adds no quality to the coffee. In most of the cases, it's just more expensive and hides what we drink, the professor continued. What all of you really wanted was coffee, not the cup. But all of you consciously went for good-looking expensive cups and then began eyeing on each other's cups. Let's consider that life is the coffee and the jobs, houses, cars, things, money and position are the cups. The type of cup we have does not define or change the quality of our lives. The moral. Sometimes we fail to enjoy the coffee by focusing only on the cup we have. Being happy does not mean everything's around you is perfect. It means you've decided to see beyond the imperfections and find peace. And the peace lies within you, not in your career, jobs, or the houses you have. So focus on the coffee and not the cup.